Hello everybody, this is me, Superman18J, and today I have a different video for you guys, and this one goes specifically to Jack Pacific. And this is a message to you guys, for me. Um, so just so everyone knows, this video is just my opinion, this is what I think, what's going on. I don't know the whole story, no, do I think I ever will. But, this is something I want to talk about because I don't feel like it's going to be talked about period. I just want this to bring up to I just want this to bring up to the fans and Jack Pacific, which if you're watching this well then Hello. Um my name is Jason <laughs> and I'm here to talk about your toy line which is the one Nintendo. And I'm seeing something that I don't want to see ever again happen to this line and that is Sort of. I don't want to see this. I don't want. I don't want to see this online die yet. I don't. There's a lot of potential in this line, and I'm not seeing it being made of. And I just want to bring up certain problems to you guys, so that I'm hoping that one day you guys can fix this, fix this, and and go back to what the one Nintendo was originally intended to be. So I'm gonna start off with problem number one. Oh yeah, before I do that, just so everyone knows again, this is my opinion. Don't hate on me if I say something that you guys don't like. Because if you have a different opinion than mine, that's okay. If you agree with my opinion, then that's also okay with Um, I just want this to bring it up to Jack Pacific, just so I know that the one Nintendo is not dead. It's going to continue, and we will see... Oh, not what we will see, but it would go back to what the World Nintendo was, and we don't have to feel about having to find them on online or having to buy these figures online, or not having to see these figures on sh on our shelves, or well, never seeing figures our favorite figures on shelves. <laughs> so. I'm going to go into problem number one, which is something that I think you guys have, and that is restart, restocking the supplies and not shipping them out to stores. And how do, and how, how do I have evidence to buy this up? Uh, Target. Um, I don't know if this happens to every other Target, but for my Target, there is no longer a section for what Nintendo. That, that, that section is dead. It's covered by some other toy, toy line. I think like some children's sh children show. I think Voltron. I don't know, but there is no longer a section dedicated to one Nintendo. Nor is there a section dedicated to it in the game section, and or well, the video game section, basically. And there's something I want to bring back up because Walmart no longer. I don't. They all, they, they do carry the two point five inch, but they don't carry the four inch, and that's something I want to see whenever I walk into Walmart. Walgreens. It's pretty much a uh, simple, if we don't have stock of them, we will supply them. If we do have stock of them, we will not restock them. Or we, will, we, will, we will not order another shipment until those figures are gone. They're not, on, they're not like on our store shelves, so therefore we will order some to restock them. That, that is what means right there. And Toy is just simply, we don't, we don't care about this toy anymore. That, that's how I feel like this is. And in order for you guys to to bring them back to have their own section in the toy line you guys need to restart this line whether it be the old figures or the new ones and, and I know you guys are doing that with GameStop but just just you know GameStop is a small store <laughs> with small space so therefore they're, they're not going to order much and I know Toys R Us is by far your biggest seller or biggest place to sell but you know, in the United States we don't want to have Toys R Us. So now we either have to find them online, example Amazon or eBay, or we have to or we have to go out like any other hunter a toy hunter would and see if we can find them at stores like Walmart, Target, etc. Now I don't know how to run a business. I can say this right now. I don't know what goes on behind the scenes of a business or the money making strategy that, that you guys use. But as far as I know, you guys are losing a lot of money, and that is by not restarting the toy line. You guys, 
I mean, how hard is it to say that I, I want to go into Walmart seeing a 4-inch Zelda, but I'm not going to see it because you guys aren't going to restock it. The same thing goes for re-releasing the fridge too. You guys are pretty much re-releasing way too many models. For example, the, the good old Wave 1-2 of the 2.5-inch model with his classic overall the red hat and the red overalls. You guys are releasing him way too much. Same thing goes for Luigi and any other phases that are so common that they don't need to be re-released in any other different ways. So how would I fix this if I were you guys? Try to restock them as fast as possible. Whether it be phases from the good old wave 1-1 or now wave 2 dash onward. <laughs> Because I, I wouldn't mind having more, I wouldn't mind paying, paying you guys to have the same fish that you guys released be re-released re again so I can have it on, on my shelves finally. Um, example, this good old little fella, um, I was very happy to see him be back on store shelves because I was never able to buy him. So, when you guys re-released him, I was happy because now I was able to get the good old Wave one dash one, then the open hand one, which I which I have. You guys need to keep doing this often. You need to re-release the four inch line, the two point five inch line, and the plushes. And I have something uh, that I think about the plushes now. I think they're dead. I don't I don't feel like they're never gonna come back if you guys don't have the passion and care for it. So yeah, I would go into more details later on. But for this next one, I want to delve into this situation which I feel like it's a big one and that is this line is no longer called the World of Nintendo it's now called the World of Super Mario and evidence to back this claim up at San Diego Comic Con 2018 you guys showed a brand you guys showed the brand new videos of what you will, will be releasing surprise surprise it's Mario Mario characters Mario himself and the Mario Odyssey, which I'm very happy to actually find at Walmart. It's a very good looking figure if you guys find this and then get hey, it's a perfect figure for you guys to have. It's very detailed. And there you go. But, this is where the problem comes in. As of now, all we're going to see is Mario characters. I don't want that. I want to see Zelda. I want to see Star Fox. I want to see Animal Crossing and Splatoon. And I know you guys seen like those other franchises may not be a huge money seller as Mario himself but you guys are doing a huge favor to the fans and the community by releasing figures that they thought would never see the light of day their favorite characters in physical form being on their shelves or being able to just play with them and have fun with them and I want to say that back again. I don't want to see Mario anymore. I, I, I would like to see Mario, but just a little bit. Have a different variety of characters so that we can all be happy. So, try to fix it by releasing Star Fox characters, Zelda characters, Kid Icarus, F-Zero, because I know, I, know, I know some people want that, and Kobe. Try to see if we can get Kobe into this line. And if so, you guys are pretty much doing a huge favor for the Nintendo community as a whole. So, let me dig on to the next problem, and that is the lack of release, or release dates. And I can tell you this right now, this was a huge problem in the previous years of your business, or this toy line. And how I know that? Let me start off with last year, of, as evidence. You guys have shown a plush of... I'm just going to get this off real quick. Whoops. Of this guy. Remember him? N not the Star Power version. The other one. The other one. That, 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 <laughs> that is not the Star Power version. But Jack Pacific. Do you remember how you said that there was going to be a plush version of this guy? As long with Baby Blue Yoshi and then some other character. And you guys said it was going to be released in Fall 2017 or Spring 2018? But guess what, Jax? It's past it's past both of those dates and we have never seen or heard about those plushes ever again. 
And this is something that is, that's a huge problem. You guys are sharing release dates for these brand new toys that we expect to be released at that point of time. But if they're not going to be released, well then say we're going to push back the date or just don't say anything at all. Show the videos and that is it. Say they're coming soon so we personally know that okay, one day these videos will be released and we just, we'll just have to wait. Don't say, hey guys, we have this brand new figure, it's going to come out in the fall of 2018, and then release it in the summer of 2019. Don't do that. Okay, I don't want to see that anymore. And I know that's coming off harsh, but this is a, this is really a, a, a big problem that I see that, need, that really needs to be fixed. If we don't have a release date, promise the fans that it's going to be released at that time, not beforehand or after that specific date. Make it to where this video is going to come out on this typical day and just keep it there. Don't release them. Don't release them a month later or a month before. So, what I would do to fix this is just have simply just, um, just don't say release date or if you do, just make your promise to it. And when that time comes around, for example, fall 2018. Please just release them. Don't don't just say that they released it and then just never release it. There's, I can say this right now. I want this. Pl I want the plush version of this little Ronnie Mario. I'm looking forward to buying him. But if I'm not going to see it, well then what's the point of having a release date if you're never going to release them? And the last problem that <laughs> that to me personally that I have a big that, that really hits me hard is that I'm no longer seeing you guys interact with the community anymore. You, you guys only post a, a one Nintendo character every, once every couple of months and then that's it. And evidence to back this claim up to show that you guys are no longer showing a passion and care for this line and an interaction of fans is you, Jack's chat. Yeah, everyone. Remember that? Um, they're still going on, but um, we're missing somebody. Every Friday, if you guys don't know Jack's chat, it happens every Friday in the afternoon where Jack Pacific goes on to the goes on Twitter to interact with the fans and give away some cool prizes for their for the toy line that they're going to be talking about. Uh, and because last time I checked, we haven't had a one Nintendo since Splatoon, or maybe. I think it was the first Splatoon game, but that was way back, okay? This is 2018, and as of now, we have not seen a Jack's chat for one Nintendo as of now. And I understand, if, ja if Jack, if you're watching this, I understand that you guys are a toy company. You guys are not going, this is not your only toy line that you have. You have the Incredibles, I think you have Shopkins. And other tournament, and I understand that you want to talk about it on Twitter or on social media. And in, in your new glow sticks too, I just saw that you guys have it on Instagram. So, um, yeah. But there's something I want you guys to go back to. Have another one Nintendo Jack chat. Interact with the fans. See what their ideas of for a new figure. Because I don't know if you remember this, but. On a Jack's chat, the very first one that you guys had for this toy line, I remember asking, Hey, do you know, do you guys mind if you make a 8-bit modern Luigi amiibo? I mean, <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> not not amiibo, but a fiddle. A 2.5-inch 8-bit modern Luigi fiddle. And you guys said, keep an eye out for it. Well, it's 2018 now, and um, I haven't seen it. So please just go back to, to the community, have have a chat with them, talk talk with them. And see how they're doing based on the toy line itself because customer service, it's always a great thing to have. Oh well, I may have just hit that one, but speaking to the customer is always something that should be grateful to have because you get to see what they want you guys to do, and they want this. They want this. They want that specific thing to, to succeed, 
and somebody just banged up my dough. I don't know who it was, but just ignore it for now. <laughs> but, yeah, um, overall, this is just it for now. So, Jax, if you're watching this, just promise me that, um, this torrent is not dead. I really want to see this grow, and there's a lot of potential for it. And if you guys are no longer doing that, well then, I don't, I don't see the point of having this toy line if we're not going to see the faders that we so desperately want. And if you, if you don't, if, if you don't target this community itself, well then, that's also another stab in this toy line that, that's going to cause this, this line to die, and I don't want to see that. So just promise me that you guys will get your A game on this toy line, release we released more, more of the good old phases that we had in the previous years and bring some new ones but do, do, don't just bring more anymore bring characters from Zelda guess what but the wire just came out you guys can provide a whole bunch of toys of those characters I know you did it with Link but maybe try to do it with Zelda and before I go I just want to say some <laughs> ideas for what I have, if you, if Jax, if you're watching this, as I said, I want an 8-bit modern Luigi, 2.5-inch figure. I know you did that with Toad, and I want to see them, and I want to see you guys do it with, with Luigi. Um, bring Earthbound. I, I would say a perfect fit is 2.5-inch. Um, if you see the prom the, the, <laughs> the promotion of Allward, it seems like they're clay, and it seems like they're very small figures, and it would make sense to bring Ness, Lucas, and the rest, the rest of their powers in 2.5 inch form. That would, that's something that I would love to see. And just so you know, I'm not a huge fan of Earthbound. This is something that I would find cool and I would personally buy. Because this is... That franchise... Even though there's no new games coming out, it has a big fan base, a big community. And that community would go bananas if they found out about you guys making an Earthbound. I guess... <laughs> toys but anyways this is it for this video if Jax if you're watching this I want to thank you for watching and listening to me and I know you guys may not respond or you may but just so you know I care about this this toy line and I want to see it grow there's so much there's a lot of potential that I don't want to see just die off okay and I know and if everyone if you're watching this that, that is not that specific. Let me know in the comments below if you agree or not. And just share some of your personal opinions on this toy line because I, I'm hoping that Jack Pacific will see this and will read the comments of other people's opinion besides mine. So Jack Pacific, if you do respond, just let me just let not only me but the community know that this toy line is no longer dying or it's not silently dying off. And you guys would go back to what you guys, to what this line used to be. And just promise us that this toy line is in good hands. And we can expect more from you guys in the future. Oh yeah, and Smash Brothers. <laughs> I saw you guys say something about it in San Diego Comic Con. It would be great to have 2.5 inch figures of the poses of the Smash Brothers tabs. That That is also another big um, money maker. So... Yeah, I just specifically go watching this. I'm I'm grateful that you all. My name is Jason. If I haven't said that before. And thank you for listening to my however many minutes this video has. <laughs> it's probably like twelve or between twelve to fifteen minutes by now. But thank you for your time and cooperation in watching this video. If you don't respond, that's okay. If you do, then I'll be happy to read it. And, yeah, Jack Pacific, just please get your alien on this. This is a wake-up call to you guys, and I'm grateful that you all, that you guys are listening to this. And, um, yeah, this is, um, <laughs> this is it for this video. And Jack, just want to say one, one last time again, thank you for watching, if you all. And, um, I will see you guys in the next video.